Yo, what's up guys, D-Cell here back with some final gear. And today I wanna to talk to you about a character that can radically change your account power and progression. So let's get right to it. Blade is an amazing free to play unit who will give you a quick change in account power by herself. Paired with Snowy, she can solo heroic solar in the conflict zone and she brings such amazing uh, dps she'll probably be and quickly become your highest damage dealing unit if you're a new player listen to me right now make sure the unit that you are saving for is blade all of the national resources that you are getting should go towards her custom mech and getting her. The amount of account progress that you can unlock through Blade alone is staggering. So let's go over some things that make Blade amazing and then let's talk about how you should gear her out. The very first thing that's going to make Blade amazing is she is 100% free to play. You can go to the National War and you can get her from the event shop so when you go to the national war and you go to the exchange you're going to be able to see that you can buy her for 2000 of the pre-war resources and then you can buy these here the blade mech support packs and you can get her custom mech now granted this will take a lot of uh effort it's going to take a lot of luck and a lot of time but you will eventually get her 100 percent free to play this is why i suggest all players going immediately for blade and don't get um confused with the chalice mech support pack blades mech is called the chalice knight you know the chalice king but you gotta make sure that you buy the purple box that says blade mech support pack do not buy the chalice mech support pack that is for chalice and that has the blade custom mech which is for chalice the pilot and the chalice uh custom mech is for blade the pilot so it's a little confusing there but make sure that you have the purple box and that's the one that you're buying if you're incredibly lucky you can actually pick her up from the special recruitment banners all special recruitments do have a very small chance at getting blade so if you're extremely lucky you can bypass the 2000 reward or the 2000 currency cost that she has and you can focus all of those 2000 on her custom mech now unfortunately for me i was not able to do that as you can see i had to spend the 2000 and it took me about 14 or 15 packs to finally get all of her custom mech pieces but once i did i made sure to have en enough resources to really level her out and uh, she immediately gave me a giant boost in account progression another thing that makes blade very good is if you look at the rewards that you get from clearing the bosses you're gonna get these items that give evolution tokens out so what i'm talking about are these little boxes here uh, evolution selection pack like this one has 11 Evelyn, Natasha, PN26, and um, Ida. And then these ones here are the ones, the pack number three. You're gonna get enough of these to bring Blade all the way up to SSR. You're gonna be able to evolve her all the way up to SSR for free. Well, I mean, you're still gonna have to have the 5 million gold, of course, but you don't have to waste the um, conflict zone resources on buying those evolution tokens for her. So while you're naturally clearing the national war, you're gonna be getting those evolution tickets for Blade. So as you can see, I got my Blade to SSR and uh, yeah, she's fully le leveled out and all that costed me was 5 million gold it sounds like a lot but the amount of progression you get is is it's worth it and if you don't know what i'm talking about is in the conflict zone when you go to the proof of valor shop i'm sorry the live combat data shop this is where you buy the evolution tokens for them so it's going to cost live combat data and it costs about 20,000 combat data to get a sr character from uh, sr to ssr but the fact that they give you enough of these tokens here to get blade completely to ssr for free means you can save these live combat uh, tokens for somebody else that you're interested in building so it can be like more for a support unit uh, in the future like you know Natasha or something like that so yeah this is really really nice and it makes her very valuable as a unit it, it just makes her much much more easy to power up is what I'm trying to say another thing that makes her really good is her weapon 
Her weapon is the third fastest recharging weapon in the game. So if you look at this weapon here, uh, the Chalice Knight sword that comes with her, this is the third fastest recharge weapon in the game. And this actually kind of unlocks some things that you can do once you get you know one or two copies of this blade it's really not a bad idea to try to farm uh, an extra copy or even two extra copies looking at the chart i've referenced this chart before and i've tried to translate it as much as i can but you can see that mirabelle sniper and dongo are the only two weapons in the game that recharge high gears uh, faster than blades weapon so what you can do is you can kind of use this to corpse stack a little bit and what i mean by corpse stacking is you can go to some of the like lesser use striker units and you can put her gear on them like maroa for example maroa has a high gear that uh, does single target damage towards a boss so blades weapon will let maroa get her high gear off on like a, say you're stuck at like a national war boss you can kind of corp stack by putting blades weapon on one of your strikers at a time and letting them go in and suicide do their high gear and just kind of do that and it, it can actually help your account progression out because there's a lot of striker dps that are blue and purple that you can put blades weapon on and you can whittle down their hp and then you can put it back on blade activate her custom mech and finish them off so yeah, having her weapon can uh, you know unlock some strategies for you that you previously didn't have, simply because the recharge on her weapon is insanely high. This isn't even talking about the fact that um, this makes her as a damage dealer even better because her as a damage dealer, she's gonna be able to do her own high gear out uh, very fast and her high gear does in insane damage i am i've been able to hit over a million damage in one hit with just her high gear alone so she can do like you know four to five plus million damage on her high gear alone it is it's nuts speaking of how much damage she does she can become your solo damage dealer and you can surround her by support and she will do enough damage to clear stages even like heroic solar from the conflict zone she does such an amazing amount of damage by herself you can pair her with like liangle and snowy and then that frees you up you don't have to run another dps with her you could run another support like pn26 who's gonna boost her energy charge even further give her more crit dam and uh, you know increase it's gonna debuff enemies to make them take more damage for example so you can actually get faster clear times and blades damage alone will be enough she can do a hundred million damage in two and a half minutes very easily once you have her built up and surrounded by supports so yeah she can clear heroic solar all by herself also don't sleep on pn26 she's pretty amazing for support uh, i see a lot of people kind of sleeping on her but we, we can talk about her in another video but having blade on the team she can really unlock different strategies for you she does such an amazing amount of damage on her own she can really become a solo dps for you and she can really help like diversify the builds that you're running so you're not locked in to just one build you can run liangle and solveg with her for to kind of boost her survivability up a bit and then snowy and she'll still have enough damage to get stage clears it is absolutely ridiculous what you can do with blade so honestly i i definitely suggest if you don't have her if you're a new account uh, where whatever stage in the game you are make sure that you are gunning for this unit because what she brings to the table is invaluable all right so let's go ahead and talk about her build how should you build your blade and you know what should she look like how do you get damage out of her well luckily enough blade is super easy to build because you just need you know your generic damage um <laughs> you know stats it's pretty easy okay so let's go ahead and look at my blade here and you can see this is her final build that i have on her i, I still need to tweak some things out i, I want to kind of re-roll some of the damage percents for attack speed but uh, i'll go over each of the piece and you know just kind of talk about it so as you can see here her stats she's only got about 120,000 hp uh, just under 23,000 attack and um she's got 82 percent crit chance and 312 percent crit damage now the idea here is you want to buff her crit damage and her attack as high 
as possible. Those are the first two things that you want to focus on when getting your blade. You don't need super high crit chance. You only, I think you only need about 70% crit chance. So I don't, I actually have more crit chance than I, uh, than I actually need because she will self buff herself to get higher crit chance. But yeah, somewhere around 70 or 80% is just fine. You don't really want to go over that because then you're just wasting stats. Now, I'm going to say this right off the bat. Do not worry about your main stats on the weapon. It is so hard to get a custom mech for her for free. It's going to take a while. Take what you can get. And if you can get a piece that has two, sex, uh, two sub stats on it, perfect. You know, run with that. But don't try to min max your main stats. And you'll see my main stats vary. But yeah, the main stats aren't really what you should worry about. You do want to try to get attack, maybe a little bit of accuracy or attack. Uh, HP doesn't hurt to have on her. Don't feel bad if you get like some HP as a main stat because she is kind of squishy in the very beginning of the stages. Um, you know, so it, it's not that big a deal. But yeah, if you can get like crit, attack, or even a little bit of accuracy, these are all good. And then for the secondary stats, you're going to want to focus on uh, attack percent. You're going to want to focus on crit damage. You want to get some energy recharge when you can and some accuracy when you can. It's okay. You don't want to go overboard with the accuracy and you know, unless you're trying to use her in PVP, but mainly what you want to focus on is attack percent crit damage. You want energy recharge and you want attack speed for your blade. So this piece right here is not bad. I got, you know, some attack accuracy, crit chance and energy charge. I will take it. So the only thing that I would consider taking off of this piece was probably the accuracy. I could probably take the crit chance off as well, but I do like having an initially higher, you know, crit chance, but that's my personal preference. I would really like to take this accuracy off and put crit damage on it. And I would be pretty satisfied with this piece. Now for the cockpit, you can see I got crit and accuracy here. And what I have on here is attack, crit damage, accuracy, and damage. So again, the damage percent is not doing much for me here because damage percent is additive. It's not multiplicative. If it was multiplicative, we would value damage percent much higher. So right here, I would like to make my damage percent an attack speed if possible. And uh, I would leave probably accuracy on for one or two pieces, but I could re-roll this accuracy uh, again for something uh, more desirable, but you can't get energy recharge on here. So I'd probably keep accuracy and roll damage off. And for my frame, I got crit and accuracy on the mains. And as my secondary, I have the mech health, which I would like to roll off. I have the damage, which again, I would probably like to roll that off for attack speed. The attack and the crit damage is nice. I'm not too disappointed with the health and I do leave it on just so she can have higher survivability because she is kind of squishy. So I'm not too worried about that health percentage there, but I, um, that damage bonus is not really doing much for me. And then on her mount, you can see I got health and defense, which again, I'm not worried about that. That does give her a little bit of survivability. And I got attack percent, I got crit damage, and I got energy recharge speed. The energy recharge speed is huge. If you can get that on your mount, definitely grab it. And again, the, the, damage, is, the damage percent here is probably doing the least, um, you know, towards my damage numbers. So all my damage percentage, I would probably like to get attack speed so she can get out her attacks faster, so she can get her um, high gears out faster. So overall, you, you want attack speed over damage percent. So just keep that in mind. And then one thing I haven't talked about in these guides is the function assist systems. The FAS chips are definitely what you wanna go for. And I'll talk about it real quick. There's a little bit of a weird translation here where it says boost mech accuracy by 10%. And if you go down here, it says makes the mech skill activate more easily. So what, what this chip actually does is it makes skills that they have that has a percent to proc, it makes them activate more often. Okay, so you really, really wanna get a function assist uh, system chip and you wanna put it on your blade. And you know, I actually got a pretty decent one here. I got crit and attack, which is awesome. And then I got crit damage, energy recharge, mech attack and damage. Again, if I could get that damage, like that damage is okay. I kind of leave this chip alone. But uh, I, again, the more attack speed on the, 
on blade the better and then i just have a filler chip here which just you know again gives me more attack rate as you can see i got attack right here i got attack percentage i got crit damage and i got damage percent this this is actually a pretty pretty good chip that i have i it's got attack and accuracy as main so oh, overall this is why i use this because the substats are actually pretty good on it so yeah blade is it's an amazing unit. I, I, I've put out crazy, crazy numbers. I've I've been able to uh, clear heroic solar and I think heroic Bernadette as well with her. She she does such an amazing amount of damage, and the amount of potential she can bring to your account is is enough that you can't ignore Blade. But hey guys, that's gonna wrap today's video up. Let me know what your thoughts on Blade are. Do you have her? Like, do you, just honestly, I can't imagine having a bad opinion on Blade, especially because you can get her free to play. But hey, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about this unit? And are there any other units that you would like to see reviewed or spotlighted? Or just let me know what your thoughts are. Also, if you've made it this far in the video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel as that helps me out. Every sub helps me with the YouTube algorithm, all the comments and the likes that helps me helps my channel, you know, progress and go further. So I really do appreciate all of the support that you guys give me. And if you made it this far, you clearly like the video. So just consider liking, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. If you like the video and want to support me even further, there's links down below to donate. You can donate for as little as a dollar to help try to push me full time into content creation. Anybody that does donate this way, I will have a special shout out on my videos. I will give you a special thanks and I will shout you out on all of my videos coming forward. But yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much it. If you want to see some more videos like this, I, I'm going to have some videos here. Here's the spotlight series. And, uh, you know, here's some final gear guides over here. Uh, have a great day, guys. Be safe out there. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.